So, Dunk, good to see you. Hey, How's things? Uh, good, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, waiting for this kind of uh, hell to finish, I think, in the next few <laughs> weeks. All being well and get back to some sort of normality. But yeah, the, yeah all the good. sun is shining today. Uh, at least. Is, yeah. And, and that does make it slightly ironic that obviously you're stood indoors wearing a Gore-Tex jacket, but you've got the Viha and the Fion to show us today. Oh, yeah, two two new styles for uh, spring summer. So about to go in store in the next two weeks, roughly. So this is a um, it's our new kind of entry price point Gore-Tex jacket for the season in two layer Gore. Um, we've obviously done a lot of work in our kind of shell category over the last few seasons. You guys have seen with like the Torridon and Kenmore reaction. Um, so for summer, we kind of went back and looked at our kind of um, where we kind of enter the market uh, and came up with this this jacket here. So it takes a lot of the signatures um, and that we've built as the brand. Um, so, for example, it's got a 75 denier polyester recycled uh, outer face fabric with a PFC free um, coating. So it's the same as used on the Torridon and the Reaction. Um, a lot of jackets around the kind of price point, sorry, entry level price point tend not to have a storm flap, but we, we're kind of very British in terms of what we do. So we've got, again, a nice little thin storm flap on there as well. Uh, in terms of cut, a little bit longer as well. You find when you kind of enter that entry level end as well, you tend to find jackets go shorter, the cheaper they are sometimes too. So we've kind of got a nice sort of body length to that as well. Um, in terms of hood, we've got our hill hub there as well with a stiffened peak front adjustment and then we've just simplified the adjustment to the rear of that with a velcro adjuster so there's still the three three points there to adjust from um on the inside you've got a, a tassel and a mesh combination lining for all day comfort as well so a combination of that there so the mesh performs when you get quite warm on the hill too um but this is like really sort of aimed at people who are looking for a jacket that they can wear during the week on the commute uh, in and around and to work and then sort of head to the trails and the hills over a weekend. And obviously with everything that's been going on recently, we've seen a lot of people have a kind of had their freedom taken away a little bit uh, with the kind of lockdown situation and, and sort of start to head out to the hills and get out there as well. So it's a kind of perfect piece for that kind of customer too. It's, it is good to see. I mean, it's definitely much like the Torridon, I guess. It's, it's a trickle down from the that, that sort of top end jacket to this in the form of, it's clearly designed with the British hill walker in mind because of yeah, the fact yeah. that, yeah, like you say, when you go, often jackets basically go like either cheaper or lighter. They'll they'll cut things like the length, which is really yes. annoying, yeah, or yeah. the hood, or yeah. the arms, or the you know, and all these differing features, or even yeah. the pockets, for instance, as well, and make exactly. them as kind of small that they're. Yeah, yeah, no, you still got nice sort of big pockets in there as well for sort of taking all your sort of hill essentials too. So, yeah, and I think we're even though we're kind of just doing it the sprayway way, essentially we've kind of built this sort of starting this the sort of starting blocks um, a couple of seasons ago now, and it's sort of fundamental um, in kind of the function first design ethos that we have as a brand you know we're not all about kind of bells and whistles it's sort of simple 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 design uh and features really that just work um and you know and a great value as well that's the that's the kind of what we're all about really as a brand it's great to see as well that you've managed to achieve all of that though whilst sticking to as well those pfc free um fabrics and yeah definitely yeah recycled materials as well yeah, so we, we've tried to introduce it where we can for the range. We've not jumped in feet first. Obviously, the nature of our product, the performance always comes first. So where we've, we've been doing extensive testing. So all I've got now is PFC free um, on some of our lighter weight soft shell pieces from next summer. We've been doing testing over the last 12 months on PFC free coatings on that. And that will all switch as well. So in our leg wear categories, that's coming through. And then we've got a... Um, Hydro dry our proprietary waterproof fabric. We've got a bigger project that we're working on at the moment for that for kind of winter 23, so oh, winter 22. So yeah, there's some bits and pieces coming through. We're very conscious about what we're doing in terms of the environment, obviously, as a brand. So and you've got a range of colours available in this. And we have, yeah, we have. So obviously I'm wearing the men's V half. So this is the woodland colour. Uh we've got blazer and black, so pretty sort of very sort of safe colorway color options and again very british in terms of what we're doing and then on the women's you again you've got on the fion you've got blazer the wood and the black and then the the laurel color there the slightly lighter green as well which has been quite popular out in the in europe with us we do a lot of business out in belgium so that's been quite popular colorway there for us so yeah well, 
it's great to see the product and it's also great to hear about the well for me it's just nice to see the british focus and the sustainability story wrapped up in within it as well and like you say it's it's nice to see that all carrying on from the torrid and it seems like a real core part of the the range and the development process definitely has been yeah and again that that's up for review in the next few seasons but that, that was kind of that real statement piece to sort of re-establish ourselves like you say in the marketplace and uh re-engage with that core user that we had in the past so yeah and it's definitely done that for us so. I've, I've still got my torrid in it it would suffice to say during <laughs> an exceptionally wet december we had which feels like a long time ago now, now. Yeah. <laughs> it, was used, it was used a lot yeah yeah cool. that's good to hear that's great to hear yeah great well thanks for taking us through those doug and i know that you've got more products to show us so we'll catch up on those soon cool. all right cheers rob